Welcome back, Metroid Prime 2. I, I'm scanning a thing. Night bar, flying, airborne, hunters, native, dark aether. Targets are small and travel in large numbers for safety. Avoid contact. Night barbs are small, airborne, darklings, smaller and weaker than hunter, than a hunter ing. A night barb will travel with a large pack to increase odds of survival. This is why, since their primary predators are hunter ing. Oh, I never scanned this crystal. <laughs> Xenotech. Luminoth light crystal generates a protective field of light energy. Light crystals provide protection from dark aether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. And this is a thing. Morphology... Blade Pod, living storage units for the Ing Horde. Morph their bodies. These Ing morph their bodies around useful items to protect them and rely on larger Ing for protection. So these are Ing, but they're basically just boxes. Mm -hmm. They're box Ing. Mm hmm. Uh, I find it funny how Sakurai eventually relented. It's like, okay, okay, we'll give you a Ridley already! But he's gonna be smaller. Because <laughs> he's too damn big! <laughs> but Ridley's a big boy! <laughs> he's a big boy now. Well, actually, now he's not. <laughs> um... But then again, I believe we, we ourselves have argued over the years. Size doesn't really matter in Smash Brothers. I mean, Bowser's always changing size in the Mario series. And my gosh, if Kirby was his actual size, he'd be barely visible. <laughs> yeah, but remember, it's not size, it's proportions. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello. Warrior Ing. Morphology Warrior Ing. <laughs> I am Warrior Ing over here. I am Warrior Ing. <laughs> the soldiers of the Ing Horde. Shape shifting wall crawler. Dangerous combatant in melee and at range. You'll really have to brawl it out with these pe guys in the ultimate fight. <laughs> Dislikes bright light. What? It looks like a weird alien horse running. Yeah. Warrior Ing are, the, are challenging foes. They can render themselves into amorphous puddles and move over most terrain, including walls. Warrior Ing can turn their bodies into deadly projectiles. She Sheathed. Sheathed in dark energy. The tips of their legs are razor sharp, making them formidable in melee. I don't remember these things in melee. <laughs> Finally, Warrior Ing are capable of channeling transdimensional energy and firing it at their enemies. Their only real weakness is bright, pure light, which they hate and fear. Well, maybe their spirits in ultimate. Ow! Ow! Stop that! Jeez. Whoa. Don't shoot light out of your darkness that pushes me out of my light into the darkness. Yeah. No, Mike, you're becoming a Kingdom Hearts game! Not a game, I'm just turn I'm just turning into uh what's his face? <laughs> the light and the darkness and the darkness and the Zen or 
Whatever. My gosh, if the gameplay sucked, I'd have no interest in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> The light, and darkness, and darkness, and light, and hearts, and nobody knows, because they are nobodies. <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> oh, you. I forgot about you. Hey, get back here. Get back here, shimmying crystal guy. A new uh, creature, morphology, light bringer, light generating forager. Creature generates safe zones while traveling, while living. Illuminate most, uh, immune to most forms of attack. Why would I want to attack it? It's my friend. Light bringers were created by the Luminoth. The is in the war against the Aang, crystalline creatures. Crystalline creature. Crystalline Creatures. Sounds like a name of a company. Come down to Crystalline Creatures. We got all kinds of crystal critters. <laughs> the crystalline Creature generates a field of life, giving light energy at all times, and they can be energized like safe zones. They are immune to most weapon fire and... What? What? I... I... Oh, whatever. Crystalline creatures. They just keep going. Nothing stops the energized crystalline creatures. Do, 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 do. I use you for traveling. Travel on that wall. Yeah, they move so funny. Oh, this makes me think of uh, someone trying to get through Mount uh, Death Mountain in uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go down the Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Crystal Creature! Take that, you punk. Crystalline creatures. Oh, jeez. Uh, I need a spider ball to get up there. Wow. Yikes. Hey, yikes. Spider ball. Spider ball. <laughs> oh jeez! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> oh great! Who invited you to the party? I have an oh, invitation. Oh, you are about to become my best friend, Mister Jump Guardian. <gasps> Jump Guardian, Space Jump Powered Warrior Ing. Ooh. Powerful Metamorph with the enhanced jump abilities, able to generate energy shock waves and force fields. The This Warrior Ing has absorbed the power of the Space Jump Boots. It can leap incredible distance and height. It can and like uses this ability to great effect in battle. Target can generate powerful shockwaves of dark energy and will sheath itself in a potent force, potent force field to protect itself. It cannot maintain the shield indefinitely. Concentrate weapon fire on it when the shield is down. It can also leap tall buildings in a single bound. Uh, you gonna come down? Where'd you jump to? Oh. Oh, oh. he's up there! Oh, there he goes. Jump around, jump around, jump around now. Come on, come on. Jump, jump, and jump, jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and kill him. Alright, jump it. Alright, Jack. 
I'm on the attack, Jack. Why are you calling me Jack? Because you jump a lot. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you jump out no more, no Ow. more, no more, no more. Get it? He's jumping, Jack. Mm -hmm. He's certainly not Candle Jack. Did someone call my name? Ah, <laughs> oh, great. I lose more co-hosts that way. <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do with this? I don't know. I don't normally get this many. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I, I love the part where Freaky Zoid just unhinges his ropes and walks off the set. It's like, I just want to thank everyone here, our director, our... <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. I got him down to half health, and my health regenerates as long as I'm in this thing. You know what, it's funny, with all the dated jokes and stuff in Freakazoid and the other shows that they made, it's it's almost like they were making, like, they were making stuff for adults more than kids, and yet I remember the kid getting a lot of the, I mean, not those, like, you know, super, like, mature jokes, but, like, the jokes that were, like, referencing old things I got. <laughs> well... You know, as kids, our parents shared with us all the old shit that they... Yeah, pretty much. So, like, I had seen all this stuff, or most of it, anyway. Besides, your parents are already old. Um, I mean, um... <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Come on, kill the jumpy guy! So the other day I was I was watching a video on um yeah, get back here on like canceled or unreleased Halo games. Uh huh. Did you know they were they were at one point making a Halo MMO? <laughs> no, I did not. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I just, I just like it it. It actually looked like it had a lot of work put into it, but I just I just don't see it in the Halo universe. But you know one universe I do see a potential for that sort of thing? What? The Metroid universe. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Having an MMO where you just play as a, ba a custom bounty hunter that you make. Oh, yeah. And bounty hunters in the Metroidverse are more like akin to hunters in, like... PSO or Monster Hunter. They they just take on quests and, and things. Uh, stop hanging on with a sliver of health and just die already, Jump Guardian. Oh my gosh, he's still alive! <laughs> there we go. He had like a no health you bar. You jumped for the last time, Jump Guardian. You had no health bar, Jump Guardian. <laughs> and you were still jumping around. But yeah, like, imagine a uh, MMO set in the Metroid universe where you basically can, where you basically are uh, just like a you know, a bounty hunter that you create and you could be you could be like several different alien species like the various aliens we see in Hunters. You jump good! Or, or you could be a, or you could be a Luminoff bounty hunter. Uh huh. All right. All right. My bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everyone's treating the release of Smash like a holiday. Like, happy Smash Miss, everyone! <laughs> the Smash Day is upon us! Oh, look, the portal back to the, to the light world. And everyone's pretty much like, I'm gonna be busy for, uh. <laughs> oh, a while.
let's see, I think there was actually... Hmm. Let me think here. If I go back through this way... Just never stop shooting. So much pain. So much. It's like walking onto a hot beach without sandals. You'd be like, and then you get in the water. It's like. Unless you have cuts on your feet and it's salt water! <laughs> Which, if it's the beach, then yeah, it's salt water. <laughs> so then you jump out of the water onto the hot beach. Ah, ah, ah. And, and then you're like, wait, why did I go to the beach again? I have cuts on my feet. <laughs> this is kind of a stupid decision in hindsight. <laughs> Ow. Oh, these stupid dingly dongles. They need to die. The dingly dongles need to die, die, die. Inglets. <sighs> oh, yeah. Open indoors. Ah! What the? What was that? Remember the the plants that that make all the bright light? Uh huh. These are the dark world counterparts. Ah. So much pain. And here is the dark temple, and that's where I need to put the keys. But I don't have any keys, so I need to find some keys. Well, you can usually find lots of keys in Zelda dungeons. Which type? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Wait, normal? No. Which type? Yes. <laughs> hey, I found a key. Dark Temple key acquired! I found a key. It's one of three. Key acquired, oh gee. I was gonna say, thank God we don't have. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 that, 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 there's nothing there. Still painful! Still painful! Oh gosh! Oh gosh, it hurts! I'm gonna stay! I'm gonna... Uh... You know, I think I'm just gonna call the episode. And then sit here in between. <laughs> 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 Alright, well thank you everyone for watching. I, I'm gonna be a big sissy and sit here while I heal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. For more... Ow, 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 